Today we're going to talk about protein, digestion, and the pooper scooper. This is important, so stay tuned. Welcome everyone to my humble channel. Let's get right on into the back door. Front door, back door. What do I mean? Okay, a lot of you are not pooping on carnivore. And everyone keeps explaining, these gurus, that if you're not crapping, it's because you're using up all the protein. Now that would kind of make a little sense if you're just eating lean meat, right? Because you absorb and use a lot of protein when it's lean. But once you start getting into the ribeyes and the ground beef and the eggs, no, 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 it comes out. But there are other things that you have to consider. Like, are you chewing your food to chyme? Is it in liquid form? Because if you're eating fast and you're swallowing fast and you have undigested food from the mouth going down to the gullet, that has to come out. That's not going to be used. If you're not pooping, right? Do you see wolves and other predators not pooping at all? No, because they're not just eating lean meat all day with the perfect gut. So you've got the rate at which you're chewing and then you have leaky gut. That's a whole another ball of wax that no one's talking about. A person with a leaking gut has permeable walls in the small intestine. Should be tight, now it's open. Food is not properly being uptaken and used. So what's not used has to come out the other end. But over and over and over again, big name people are saying that if you're not crapping, you're using up all the protein. Instead of even considering dehydration, right? Because the body's pulling water from the colon because y'all ain't drinking up enough of this. Up enough? Up. You're not drinking. This has got the bentadynamite clay in it, by the way, and some salt, some Celtic salt, but you guys are dehydrated. You drop a lot of water. The bowels lock up because the body's pulling water from the colon cells need to contract. When you have a leaking gut, you are not uptaking all that protein. And a lot of you are eating copious amounts of protein that your body can't use. So there are several level stages of digestion that will really show you that you're not using up all the protein because you can only eat, chew, have enough stomach acid because all of these things play play roles. Stomach acid, protease, enzymes, anything that's going to break down protein. Then it's how fast you chew. Then it's the permeability of your walls, of, of the colon. Then it's the type of meat that you're eating because people aren't eating tuna all day long, right? Leaner meats are more readily uptaken if you have all those other things are perfectly aligned stars and the moon and your wall is strong your intestinal wall is strong you have enough stomach acid you're chewing your food slow and then it's lean and then you don't produce a lot of stool perhaps to some varying degree but that's not all you have to consider toxins in the body they have to come out and the body will force it out chemicals forever chemicals estrogen xenoestrogens got to come out. If you, they don't come out, you're toxic. A lot of people who are doing carnivore diets drop out the carbs. You drop out the carbs, you have a hard time holding on to minerals and hydrating the cells. So the body's going to pull that water from the colon. It's going to pull water from everywhere it can. You're peeing out all of this, the fluids from the body. And then you lock up and become constipated. Now, I had a client the other day and he was very adamant, adamant that 
He wasn't pooping because he was using up all the protein. He was eating, a, he was eating, drinking a liter of water a day, five foot 11, drinking a liter of water. And then you're dropping water and then you're not bringing in enough water. And you think that you, modern humans who've got a destroyed gut wall, toxic chemicals, pharmacological interventions, pollution in the air, all of this stuff must come out. So if you're not pooping, there's a problem. There's also dead cells in the colon. They must come out. Please really be careful what people say, because if you're not pooping, it's a problem. It could be your thyroid, could be chronic dehydration, but no matter what it is, if you're not pooping, you're not getting out waste products and toxins. And look at people. They don't look well. Their skin doesn't look well. They're bloated. They, they're they having issues with, with everything, the bloat, with energy with the skin quality with their hormones things got to come out like I said if you have a perfect gut wall you're eating leaner meats you'll produce a lot less stool that's Dale he's just having to come apart dipping around this camper things must come out we are modern humans we are not hunter gatherers and no one's gonna eat lean meats fats what's not used come out ribeyes ground beef it's coming out so if you're not pooping you're toxic go by what's logical most of you have leaky gut most of you are dehydrated on a carnivore diet and those element packages and all of these complex garbage is not fixing your dehydration that's a whole nother video i'm getting my house built finally dude so excited if you guys want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com and sign up for a consultation. I've been working with a lot of people, you guys. I finally got the guy to sort of listen to me a little bit when I'm like, dude, you're constipated. This is not, this is not good. Yeah. And that was in a consultation. So it's pretty cool. You can also reach me at Stephanie or Find great information at Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagram, Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. I'm 56, soon to be 57. Energy for days. I like being ketotic. If you're gonna do carnivore, make sure you're in ketosis. That's a whole nother video where people are like, you don't have to be in ketosis, do carnivore diet. Keep thinking that, bro. And I'm out. Because i got to edit this video now and it's late. I'll work, work, work all the time. But the house is getting built. Peace.